India's VEM Technologies have showcased a concept of the Ajita short-range ground-based air defense system, and its working will be based on the same principle of the NASAM's air defense system of the US. It will feature a 4D mobile AESA radar system with 360-degree coverage, that will alert the short-range surface-to-air systems about the locations of multiple hostile targets, and the 12 launchers can be used to fire the surface-based Astra system. The BRDO is developing a very sophisticated system based on artificial intelligence and data analytics, which will keep the Indian naval ships well informed about all kinds of naval vessels in the region. The RDO's Trigon system will complete its second phase in March 2020, and the third and the most advanced phase of the system will be started in December 2020, that will enhance battle space transparency with better network-centric combat systems. Top experts have said that most frontline enemy air bases are within the range of the upcoming 200 km range Pranash tactical ballistic system, and it can be used to target the runways of the enemy, and it will be more effective as one of the adversary currently doesn't have an active anti-ballistic defense capability. Another advantage is that it could also be exported to friendly foreign countries, since it will be outside the purview of the missile technology control regime, which places export restrictions on systems with ranges of more than 300 km. Bharat Electronics Limited has unveiled a new remote-controlled station for the Arjun Mark II at the Defence Expo 2020 which have also completed tank integration and firing tests from the Mark II version. The new system can also be mounted on hovercraft and fast patrol vessels of the Indian Coast Guard. Hindustan Aeronautics has said that a spin recovery parachute is being integrated on board the indigenous intermediate jet trainer that will conduct a crucial spin recovery test in July 2020, and Hindustan Aeronautics is confident that modifications carried out on the test aircraft would prove successful. The DRDO has handed over 15 licenses for transfer of technology to 17 Indian industries, which would enhance cooperation and synergy between industry and government organizations. The technologies transferred are from the area of electronics laser technology combat vehicles naval systems aeronautics and sensors, and these high technology products will boost the defense manufacturing sector with self-reliance and enhance the operational capabilities of the Indian Armed Forces. Lockheed Martin has signed an agreement with Bharat Electronics Limited to explore opportunities in the F-21 fighter jet program that has exclusively been offered under the MMRCA tender to the Indian Air Force. Lockheed Martin has said that the F-21 has the longest service life of 12,000 flight hours and will have the most optimal life cycle cost for the Indian Air Force.